this Hive course on submitting timesheets. We will be taking you on a tour on how to populate and submit your timesheet for your projects. Let's get started. To access my timesheets, I'm going to click on the apps in the left hand navigation and locate the tile. I can pin my timesheet to my left hand navigation, which allows me to access it quickly from wherever I am in Hive. I'm going to open my timesheet now. And the first thing we need to do is add our projects or leave types. I'm going to click add new and you'll only see the projects that you are a member of within Hive. So I'm going to submit there and they will appear. And secondly, your organization may be using categories to record different work types. You can add those to your project with the small plus sign beside the project name. And we may wish to remove this no category entry, and that can be done by deleting the row with the small trash can on the far right hand side. Great, so my timesheet is ready to go. To help you submit your timesheet a little faster, Hive will allow you to copy over projects from last week when you click this button, we can see that if I look at last week's timesheet, I have winter campaign. So I'm going to copy projects from last week. It's going to prompt me to confirm that I wish to do so, including projects that potentially have no time. I'm going to click copy and that will add that entry from the previous week to my timesheet. Now when doing this, it's important to remember to add any new projects you have worked on in your current week. So I'm going to add my time now to this project. And we do that by adding the number of hours we have worked into each of the cells for the relevant day. You'll also notice that at the project level, it's rolling those up to account for you. And once I've done that, I'm ready to submit for approval. And I do that with the button on the bottom right hand corner it will prompt me to confirm that I wish to submit. Your organization may also have enabled the pre-fill option. I'm going to scroll forward now to this week. And depending on how this setting has been set for you, when switched on, you can click this button to draw time entries from either the action card where you're entering time into the time tracking or from our resourcing application where a resource assignment has been made for you on a project. And in this example, the prefill has been set to pull from my resource assignment. And that is why we see these entries here ready for me to record my time. So where you see in this example, I have manually entered the time. I will click forward to my pre-fill example and pre-fill the allocated hours. And this will draw that time directly from the action card or from resourcing, as you see in this instance. Now, when I'm ready to submit and I've completed my time, I'll click the button again. And depending on your organization settings, this will route the project time to the owner of the project or to your manager for approval. And the first time you submit a timesheet, you may receive a prompt to select a manager should you not have one set in your profile. This is required to set a timesheet. Where an organization has the approval function switched off, you may find that you will auto approve these. Now when auto approval is enabled, you must still submit your timesheet to ensure that it's included in Hive's timesheet reporting. Now, from time to time, once we've submitted our timesheets, we may be asked to edit those entries. So let's return to my previous timesheet. And I need to adjust these. Now, in order to do so, and especially when a timesheet has been submitted and approved, you will need to delete all of the project rows 
So I will quickly do that now. And by removing all of these entries, you'll see that I can now follow my previous steps, add in my entry, add in my category, resubmit my time into the relevant days, and my submit for approval button will be re-enabled. I'm ready to resubmit for approval. Where changes are requested from an approver, you will receive a notification in your notifications menu in the top right, where you will be able to follow the steps to adjust the time that has been submitted. Thank you for joining this course on submitting timesheets. So far, we have covered how to access our timesheet, add our projects and categories, record our time, submit for approval, and make any required changes that we need to. Tune in to our next video in the series to complete your learning on everyday essentials. Thank you.